hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in our today's video we will discuss how to apply for CISA certification so this video is for the people who have already cleared their uh, CISA examination and now they are applying for CISA certification so let's start the video so uh, to apply for CISA certification first you need to visit uh, isaka's official website which is www.isaka.org org okay so once you click uh, uh, on the we website you need to sign in with your uh, isaka login id so you need to sign in with your user id and password so let me put my username and password here okay so once you put your user ID and password, uh, the dashboard will be appearing on your screen. Okay. So now you need to go uh, to my Isaka and my, in my Isaka, you need to click on certification. So once you click on certification, you need to click on apply for certification. So once you click on apply for certification, then again, uh, the screen will appear and again, you need to click on the uh, apply for certification here. Okay. So now there are three steps. First, you need to pay a dollar fifty application processing fees. So this dollar fifty, uh, you need to pay so that they can process their uh, process your application. So this fifty dollar is for both member and non-member. So uh, whether you are a member of uh, Isaka or whether you are not a member of Isaka, irrespective, you need to pay dollar fifty. Okay. So here, uh, this is how you can pay your dollar fifty. Okay. So once you click on the pay, uh, yeah. Now you need to put. Uh, you just need to confirm your address, like you know, on which address you want to deliver your certification, whether your business address or home address. You can select any of uh, these two address, and then you need to click on proceed to billing yeah so once you click on a proceed to billing the screen will appear now you need to uh, pay your uh, amount okay so you need to put your card details and cvv and all so once you pay the amount uh, now you need to uh, fill the CISA application form which is step two so how to fill that CISA application form we will discuss so in CISA application form there are total four pages so page number one and two so page one and two uh, in page number one and two you need to fulfill your uh, your CISA related information so in section uh, two step two there are three sections which we have already discussed in our last video so in section one you need to provide uh, at least uh, two years of experience in IT certification okay so suppose if you are working in more than one organization you need to fill your company's name start date and date okay and out of five domain in which domain you have gained the experience so all this detail you need to fill in the section a now in section b you can take a waiver of one year work experience so uh, suppose if you did any kind of audit irrespective whether it was IT audit or non IT audit you can claim the general work experience favor in section B now in section 3 uh, you can waive uh, you can take waiver of any education experience like if you have bachelor degree you can take two years of waiver and if you have a master degree in information system you can apply for three years waiver okay so uh, likewise you can put the details in section c and uh, the total of section a b c should be a five year okay so this you need to uh, ascertain that whether it is a five year or not so this is how you can fill this detail now in uh, step three it is mentioned that using the experience verification form page uh, v1 v2 of this application please ask an employer to verify all the experience in step two 
If more than one verifier is needed, you may fill out an additional form of pages V1 and V2 are only needed. So, guys, as as you can see in page first, so suppose if there you work in more than one company, so uh, you need to fill the uh, verifier form for. Uh, all that company like in my case uh, uh, i did work in two companies so i need to verify my uh, experience from form with these two companies manager okay now we will see how the form will look like so uh, this is this is a cisa experience verification form in which you need to fill the uh, your applicant details and then the verifier details so in verifier detail verifier just verifier need to put his name his company name what was the job title email id and phone number and he need to very he need to uh, verify that you know you had work in uh, that company for particular period and uh, yeah he, he has uh, worked like he he worked as your supervisor or manager whatever and then he will verify your work experience in that company so that was for the company a now similar form needs to be filled uh, filled by a company uh, two managers also okay and similarly for whatever general work experience waiver you are taking you need to uh, take uh, signature from that company also so in my case i uh, i have taken uh, the signature of all three firms uh, member and then uh, this is how i i filled my form now we'll discuss the uh, step three which is a final final step in which you need to submit your uh, form so whatever form that we have filled in previous step now we need to submit that form to submit that form we need to click on submit button then this screen will appear then in application type you need to select the CISA now in description you can write anything like you know I, I have attached my field application along with my education certificate so suppose if you are taking waiver of uh, any educational degree you need to uh, attach that uh, result also so in my case suppose i was taking the waiver of uh, two year bachelor degree so i have attached my bachelor degree then you need to click on the final submit button okay so once you submit the application you will get a mail from uh, support at the rate rep support reply at isaka.org so in that mail they will confirm that your application was submitted successfully and will review your application so this kind of uh, email you will get from isaka then after uh, two three days suppose if your application is verified they will send you another mail that uh, thanks for submitting the application and uh, i am happy to share that your applications has been reviewed and we have determined that you meet the qualification criteria so in one or two days you get that uh, email and uh, in that email they will also acknowledge that the uh, physical certificate will be delivered in uh, 10 working day and after that email uh, in one or two days you will get your CISA certification number so in total like you know it will take only four to five days uh, and then you will get your uh, CISA certification so this is all guys this is how you can apply for your CISA certifications so thanks a lot for watching the video if you learn the process of uh, you know applying for certification please like the video and share with your uh, other colleagues as well thank you for watching see you in next video uh, till then bye bye and take care